Okay, so let's go to the last part and we want to, let me go and look at this to see how it looks. So in the meantime, I add, uh, you know, information. We have the main page. We have installed um, WordPress, uh, some pictures, menus on how to. Very good. So I did that on, uh, you know, you can follow the pictures will be in the zip folder and the information here in the customize. Oh, I didn't add anything for the customize. Hmm? Good. Okay. I'll change that. Let's go to the last part. That is the uh, contact. And now we want people to contact us and fill the form. So in order to add a form here uh, for the contact us page here, Second. So here we are in the contact page. We want to add a form, and in order to do a add a form here, we're going to use the forms. Uh, but before we do that, we had to create in Google Forms a form. So we're going to link it. So Google Forms. Make sure that you log in with the same. Um, Uh, email that you uh, log in first. Oh. Why? One second, I'm just going to open a new tab. Sign in. I'm sorry, you were supposed to sign in. Make sure that you, you do the same email. And here I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so <coughs> here you have a contact information. I'm going to do uh, one from scratch, but you have here templates for uh, t different types of forms. So I'm going to get a new one here. I'm going to call this contact. And for uh, the description is... Uh, just contact us at Upa Lupa, and I'm going to have the first question is a uh, name, and here is a uh, short answer. Uh, then, so the first uh, question is a uh, name. The second one is email. Short answer. The second one is the third one is phone short answer and uh, email name email form and question and that's it so uh, here when I I going to use this is it required so people had to put the answer there and it's required okay so in the question here we are, and then we once we are here in the form, we're going to go to responses, and then accept the responses, link sheet, uh, create a new spreadsheet, and this is going to call contact and create. Ah, I misspell contact. Uh, let me see if I can uh, rename. Okay, so there you go. So we need the name, email, phone, and question. Actually, I'm going to take a screenshot so I can remember because I need to uh, create a spreadsheet with that information. All right, so, and I'm going to share, copy link. All right, so let's go to my... Upa Lupa, and in here in the bottom, I'm going to insert a form and uh, going to. Uh, this is not the one that I want to insert, though. A 
form, let me see, Google Forms. And that's contact and response is contact. Okay, so now I, I didn't, I had not changed the name here. That's what I could not find it. So I'll go here and now I can insert this contact form here. And <clears throat> this is my email. Uh, so the email will be there. And let me go and look to see how it looks, how it looks. So here is my form we're going to submit, but I want to connect this to a page that is actually going to save my um, my uh, information because uh, it's going to keep a database from whoever is uh, contacting me. So I'm going to add a sub page. This is going to be database. I'm going to call this user's feed, uh, info. Uh, done. However, this user's info is going to be hide from navigation. So you're not going to see it this, all right? So uh, the reason is, is because I don't want uh, people to see the information of my client. I'm going to go here to the inserts and I'm going to put a sheet. But before I do that, I'm going to create Google Sheets. And here I'm going to sign in with my other email. Make sure that you sign all with the same email. Uh, let me see today. Uh, name, email, phone, and questions. So I already have my my sheet here, and I'm going to add this sheet. So every time that somebody uh, send me a question, subscribe, it keeps the information there. All right. So here I'm going to add a sheet, and it's going to be contact and insert. Uh, don't share. Uh, it says the people with access. Uh, so here it is. So this is my sheet and let's see. And that it is. So every time that somebody put a response is going to save it there. So you can see it here or you can go to the Google Sheets and see the information there. All right. So here it is. So let's go back. Uh, So here you have the information uh, is only be available to you, right? And let me see properties. That's done. So good. So nobody that goes to this, uh, to your website is going to see this information. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. So I'm going to go and already preview. I think the customized pages, the one doesn't have anything. So I'm just going to delete this one. I can add that later on. So I have WordPress, contact us. I think that I meant to put uh, the customizer in another page, but I end up putting it in the same page. Doesn't really matter. You can actually put it in another page. That's okay. So I'm going to publish this now. And it's going to be right, Oopa Lupa. That's the name of my site. Uh, request public access. Oopa Lupa. Okay, so Oopa Lupa site. And this is supposed to be that file. And uh, now that we publish, we publish this. We are going to view publish site. And now here is my address that I can share with everyone that I want to see the website. And now I can go to the um, here to my contact us. 
and I'm just putting a uh, and I submit. All right. So now that I submitted, I'm not going to see anything here. So I'm going to go to my um, contact, and I can see that I have here my. <clears throat> my information and also if I go here to my contact and to my user's info here I can see in the back end that I have the information there so that's it that's our uh, information uh, that's how you add a form and a, a database <laughs>